Well, Nine News has obtained shocking examples of the hundreds of nuisance phone calls bombarding the state's triple zero hotline every week. The real life recordings include a man wanting a taxi, a child checking that his phone is working, and a woman needing directions. Thank you. Go ahead, call the police emergency. Hello. Um, this isn't really much of an emergency, but um, I need to get to the airport to catch my flight to go back home. Sometimes those three numbers are just too easy to dial. Just let me clarify this. You're ringing triple zero, an emergency number, to complain about the way your neighbour parks their car on your road. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. OK, that is not an emergency situation. A staggering 200 nuisance phone calls are made to triple zero every week and police are fed up. For us, the real concern is whilst we are dealing with that, there is somebody else on the line somewhere who really needs medical assistance or police assistance because it is an actual emergency. Often the culprits are children left by themselves with access to a phone. Hello? Yeah, hi, the police. No, I was just checking if it works. Checking if what works, the telephone? Yeah. Some of the nuisance calls range from people thinking that we can speed up their pizza delivery order. Some people ring because their hot water service isn't working. And then there's the people who need a taxi but call triple zero instead because they think police will give them a ride home. Some of those callers even become quite angry when their bizarre request is refused. Oh, what am I supposed to do? Just sit here and freeze my ass so I can get... Yeah, we get calls like this all the time on a Friday and Saturday night. People want police to take them home from their hotels or their night outs or whatever, OK? That's not what we do. People shouldn't think it's just a smart aleck activity they can get away with. They need to know that we can monitor, we can find out who's made the call and actions will be taken if appropriate. The message is to think about real victims and if you need a ride home, there are other numbers to call. Ben Avery, Nine News.